Hey everyone, it's Epic Underworlds, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at another paper computer game. This one is a classic made by Zack. This was the first game of the Pierre series, which he made for his friend, and I just recently got to play that. I will be editing that video and getting that playthrough up, but it was super fun. So let's kind of go over this game. So, this is the cover. It was one of Zack's first PCGs, probably made somewhere in the 90s to the early 2000s. So the first screen is just basically a little tutorial on how to play a PCG. I actually thought this was super cool. The game starts where I am Pierre, I'm just sitting in Zack's room doing some homework, and then Zuvac just randomly appears. He starts talking to me and saying that uh, I need to go save Ari, which is my friend, and he's in Germany. Zuvac gives me some plane tickets, but then some dudes, some guys, which are a race of these evil henchmen, break in and steal Zuvac. I go to chase after the guys, that's me, and I come across this maze screen. Over here is a giant dinosaur, and I believe that was like uh, some sort of key thing. Um, and then all these passages lead off to certain deaths, so I was just trying to like, uh, there was like, there was an alligator pit right there, and I was just trying to like, save the alligator, or try to get the alligators as my pets, and it didn't end up working out. There were some sharks in there, I tried the same thing, did not work out. There's some guys here, and I basically used that bomb to blow them up. That was a broken AOL CD, and I never ended up using that. I have no idea what it was for. Um, right here, that is just a broken computer. I ended up taking the guy's motorcycle and using it to hop over the ledge. And then I remember this was like something in the bushes, which I had to get out. And then there's a key card to open the door. Then you uh, found yourself by a plane. Again, throughout this uh, game, there's like these little Mercado coins, which I never ended up spending, but Zach said I can use them in the next game. This was a hatch to the airplane and I had to somehow swing up to get it. Once I was in the airplane, I was met with these guys and I had to take them out by like swimming, swinging on this rope and I could take control of the ship. But there was a laser cannon up here, if you can see that. And I had to take that out too. Yeah, after that May screen and the, and the pre-flight screen, I met with a classic flight screen, which is pretty self-explanatory. I had to get past these guys. Then my building or my plane somehow got shot and I got shot down and I landed in a building in Germany. I just m miraculously find Ari and we meet each other again. Then me and Ari get met with another series of guys. This is the mansion of Rorik, which is an evil dude that we had to stop. And I think the puzzle here was you just had to take your um, motorcycle and go over, over these three ramps and then land on the guy. Then we were met with a classic fat guy screen. When Zach was making this, he kind of, uh, used Zach, uh, Chris's classic puzzles and implemented them into his game. So you will see these classic, uh, fat guy screens and flight screens. I had to use Slim Fast and I just shot it into his mouth. There's also this needle, which I used to try to like kill Rourke. I, I, I tried out this screen for so long just to beat Rourke and his henchmen, but it, it was no use. And then I finally realized that there's a really tiny little hook there and I just swung up and saved Ari with me. But yeah, definitely a hassle. Then we saw Zuvac who got captured earlier and uh, Colette and we ended up saving them and we fell into the sewers, which that is where the game leaves off and the next game, Alien Ab Abduction, continues. Now, I have not played that game yet, so I will not be doing a review of it until I have played it. Thank you guys so much for watching this game. It's on the Paper Computer Game Shop if you would also like to play it with a really nice script um, printed out just like I did. And that was my overview of the Evil League of Evilness.